Hello everyone and welcome back. It's that time of year. I'm ready to put in a load of rocks to get polished. I've got, um, I don't know, maybe three pounds that I collected throughout the year. And um, I bought another three pounds because every year, if you guys watch these videos, every year I will go ahead and buy some from some other part of the country or from another country and throw them in also so I can get up to my I don't know, five or six pounds, I'm going to be running my, this is a QT66, so it's got two six pound barrels, I'm going to be running just uh, one barrel, and we'll do a batch, it seems like I get one batch done every year, I'm going to be starting out with step one, make sure that this thing works. So the ones in jars here are the ones that I collected this year at different jobs and I got some nice agates and some that are just cool rocks and there's a few I need to look at to even know if I want to run them or not. So like I said, this one here is definitely agate material. I don't see any bands in it though, but it's definitely that brownish, shiny rock. This is a true agate. This one is also. This one here is. This rock here I think would polish up good, but it's got this deep pit. I'm going to remove it because there's no way I can keep that clean. Some of these now, this is just a big rock that I know will polish and um, there's nothing spectacular about it except for that it's a good size. This one has a band of white in it and I do think this is hard enough to polish nice. Well, these are the rocks that I ordered online, and uh, like I said, I like to do this, get them from different parts of the world. These are from Bahia, Brazil, and I did have to go online and look up how to say Bahia, because <laughs> I didn't know. And, and they're pretty cool. There's some banded rocks here. They're not um, the best ones I've ever bought before, but uh, we'll see what they look like when they're polished up. There are some in here that uh, if I would have picked them up off the ground, I would have said, no, these will not polish. And some of those I might not even put in this batch. So like this one here is real hard, easy polish on this side, but this side almost feels like it's cement. So we'll see. We want that um, the tumbler to be like three quarters of the way full of rocks or, you know, half to three quarters. So we'll see what we end up with. This one is pretty cool. It's got like some yellow in it and stuff. It'll be interesting to see if all that grinds away or if that polishes up. So these four I wanted to look at better. This one does have this is a true agate on the ends. I'm going to put this one in even though it's got some pits. It's got some real nice lines in there. This one, I'm going to leave that out. It just, this one too, it just feels, doesn't feel hard enough. This one is, I think I can do this one. We'll just start with the real pretty banded ones here. I hope, that, I hope that they do good. Some of these feel really good and other ones it's like I'm not sure but it's said that they have a hardness of six and a half to seven which puts them right up there where I shouldn't have any trouble. Well, that's all I'm going to put in there. That is, to me, that's a full tumbler right there. So 
Um, I still could have put these in there, but I don't want to get any full, any more full because we've got enough room now so it can move around some, but it's getting tight. Now that we have the rocks in there, I'm going to put in my step one grit. This is a 6090 mesh silicon, silicon carbide. Now this is a six pound barrel. Normally you do two tablespoons for every one pound of tumbling media. I, maybe I don't have quite six pounds in here. I, I've done these videos many times. I'll get people that come in there and say, oh, you put way too much in there. I do two or four or whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna put 12 tablespoons in here like I always do and I always get great results. Now we're just gonna add water to cover the rocks. Just like that. Man, that's a full, that's a very full tumbler. I hope that's gonna be all right. I usually don't put quite that many rocks in. Now we're just gonna put our cover on. With this first batch of rocks here, I, I'm not critical about cleaning them. If they had any dirt that was on them that I could see, I would have washed it off. After this first grind, when we're ready to go into step two, three, four, then cleaning them between is um, critical. But for this one here, they'll be just fine. Once I start this up, I'm gonna to wanna to come down and check it a few times, especially that first day or so. You'd be surprised this is, a, this is a pretty old unit now, uh, and I mean, I've replaced parts on it that you can easily get parts for them, but they'll get a little slick and, and like this won't be spinning and you'll be surprised if you come down here and shim up this corner, all of a sudden it'll work, you know? So you really gotta watch it, you might lose a whole day where this is spinning and this thing is not. Well, now it's started. Now, the, one of the most important things to do right now is for me to go upstairs and write down what day I put these rocks in. I'm gonna leave these, you always wanna leave them in from five to seven days. With this batch here, I'm gonna go at least a full seven days, maybe even eight days. Uh, it all depends. You can kind of tell by the sound of the rocks after you get going for a while, but like right now, there's not a whole lot of movement and you'll be able to hear more movement after about a week. And when you get down to like step, the last step, it almost sounds like um, marbles hitting together in there. Anyway, I'm gonna go up and write this down and we'll be back here and I'll probably be seven or eight days. We'll open it up, wash them off, and put them into step two. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. I will see you guys on the next video.